A long time ago, the wonderful people of Volition decided to release Saints Row Undercover to the public. Now, if you want the TLDR on what that is, Saints Row Undercover was a cancelled PSP game. It was essentially Saints Row 2 Portable, and it's actually pretty good, and today I want to talk about my thoughts about it. Now, if you want a bit more detail on what it is as a whole, instead of kind of just how it is now and what I kind of want to talk about in this video, Mr. Saints Godzilla did a really good video going in depth, and I'll link it in the description because it's actually really good, and it's what actually got me inspired to kind of talk about it myself. So, I downloaded PPSSPP, which is an emulator for the PSP. I also got the undercover thing and went into it on my PC. So, the game runs decently well for a cancel port, which is probably unbelievably poorly optimised. And it's still pretty fun. Now, one thing I noticed immediately is that the map is actually half decent. Which is kind of funny, because an unfinished map still managed to turn out with more variety to it <laughs> than Steelport. Pretty amusing stuff. Now, the map obviously is a heavily downgraded version of Stillwater, but Stillwater is still beautiful, and honestly, if this game was kind of bumped up to the modern graphical standards, even in its unfinished state, it would still be pretty beautiful. It's quite nice looking at Saints Row 2 in the portable market and how well it could have actually been received if it came out at the time. It's kind of funny looking at how far ahead also Volition were of the curve. You know, portable gaming is becoming more prevalent with consoles like the Nintendo Switch. And I mean, you have games like Saints Row 3rd and 4th that actually run on Nintendo Switch flawlessly, relatively speaking. And it's kind of like, well, they obviously envisioned Saints Row for the portable market. I mean, you have the phone games, you have this PSP port, and now you have the Switch games. Obviously, Saints Row, in their mind, was meant to go mobile. It just never did. So, with modern gaming kind of coming forward, it first of all makes me wonder if we'll ever get another Saints Row portable edition. Will we get a reboot on the Switch? Probably not. But what intrigues me the most is how well this game actually ended up. So, you'll notice that there's a few weapons in the gameplay that we don't have on Saints Row 2. Yeah, this game actually has its own unique weapons, even in pre-development. Really interesting stuff, and it brings a few new things to the table. My personal favourite is the Hooker Stiletto shoot thing that you can kind of just whack people with. It, it, it's quite amusing stuff. Now, the driving mechanics are unbelievably busted. You touch anything, you're going to go flying to space, and it's absolutely wild, but it's hilarious at the same time, so, you know, I'll give it that much. Now, obviously, graphical quality... NPC variety and density is quite minimal. It's meant for a mobile market. It's meant for the PSP, which, believe it or not, is not the height of technology, and it probably wasn't at the time, and it probably didn't give them a lot of room to work with. But for the most part, it's actually still pretty decent. It's almost playable. I feel like if this game had a bit more polish to it, and I, I feel like if some talented mod team came in and just kind of worked on this game, it could actually be morphed into something that somewhat resembles a quality game. Like, this thing is not hopeless, and I don't like that it was completely abandoned, because I see potential. Everyone, and I mean everyone, has been asking for Saints Row 2 to come back in some form. I like this form. It'd be very cool to see a Saints Row 2 mobile, PSP, Nintendo Switch Edition, etc, etc, and it's really interesting to me at least to see how close we were to actually getting something like that come to fruition. Now again, it's really far from perfect, it's not even good, but there's hope there and there was potential and it's quite cool to see the history of these things. But moving further on, pretty much all missions are busted, activities are fairly busted, and character customization is minimal to say the least. You can change the hairstyle, the body type, between three options for the hairstyle and four options for the body type. You can change the skin tone, and that's about it. I don't even think you can be a female, to my knowledge. So, you know, interesting stuff right there. I always find it really intriguing to play games like this that are just a peek behind the curtain. Something that people weren't originally supposed to see because it was just never supposed to come to light, and kind of explore throughout it. So, talking about Stillwater again. You can see some districts come back and retain their glory. You know, there's the park area, which actually looks quite close, obviously downgraded, but quite close to what Saints Row 2 had to offer. And it's all just really interesting. Now, it's free out there. So if you have a phone, you can play it on your phone. If you have a PC, you play on your PC. It does not take that much performing power to run. I have a very cheap Android phone, and I was able to run it flawlessly at 60. And um, the links out there and the app I use is PPSSPP, which is on Android. I think it's on iPhone. And um, it's definitely on PC. So, you know, feel free to go out there and use it. And obviously, don't worry about any sort of legal issues. Volition 
let you do this. So there's no there's no worries there either. But it's always uh, super interesting to look at this stuff. And I want your thoughts. You, what would you feel if a game like this came out in the modern time? Obviously with a better graphic quality and such. But if a modern mobile Saints Row came out, how would you feel about it? Would you play it? Would you think it's shit? I'm intrigued. I think I'd like something like that, and I think that this was a really cool basis for something that got cancelled, and it's quite disappointing to see it was cancelled, because I feel like it would be the reason I would actually pick up a PSP. It's something that I find quite interesting, and it was a pretty cool concept to begin with. Anyway, that's all from me. Again, I'll link Mr. Saints Godzilla's video down below if you want a bit of more of an in-depth look at uh, Saints Row Undercover, and I will be doing a few more videos on this game, because I think there is so much to dissect here, and so much cool stuff to kind of look at. But this is kind of just my thoughts on it and kind of just giving you a general overview of the game and its state. And I think it's really interesting to see how many concepts were scrapped. I mean, the story concept behind this game are insane. But again, that's something for another day. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out.